Welcome to our channel. For those of you who are new around here, we're Paltai International and we created a sculpting medium called Paltai Premium that looks and feels just like clay but cures stone hard. Check out our other videos to see for yourself what's possible. So far in our decorative birdhouse series you've seen the four acorns and the floating palace and today we're going to be showing you how to do the Parisian bottle dome. All the tools you need for this are in the description box below. Draw out your idea for a birdhouse. Break the idea down to the simplest of shapes, such as the house is a box shape, the roof and bottom both have curved sides, so they require a different method. The best way to handle these is to cut cross sections and fill them with foil. Cut out your patterns in cardboard and assemble the cardboard patterns together with hot glue. Hot glue in your foil, this is the easiest way to achieve complex convoluted shapes with lots of character. Despite being very organic, they stay uniform and accurate. Drizzle a lot of hot glue onto a tightly crumpled foil sheet and quickly cover the house. The deep crumpling gives a lot of grip for vertical surfaces. Cover the roof and bottom with foil too. Paltai Premium onto straight cardboard would soften the cardboard too much, so this is a step you don't want to miss. Glue on the bottom to the house so they become one piece, albeit upside down. Fix the roof to a wider base. The white card lets you know if you've achieved the correct thickness. For a sculpture like this, the first thing to make in the Peltai Premium are the tiny details. These need a few days to strengthen in advance to glue onto the birdhouse, roof and house. So mix up a small amount of Peltai Premium by following the mixing instructions in the description box below. When you can vibrate it like this into nice cookie dough consistency, you're ready to go. Press a quarter inch thick pancake of plasticine clay onto a plastic surface. Carefully cut the shape of your window and door into the clay with a sewing pin, here mounted in a blade holder. This plasticine becomes our mould to cast into. It's the best way to get sharp, crisp edges on tiny pieces. Wet the mould very lightly with water so the clay slides onto the details easier. Use a small tool to press the Peltai Premium carefully into the corners. Stainless steel wires were added because we thought to make glass beads over the windows and doors, but we ended up not using this and cutting the wires off later. We added tiny Peltai Premium snakes as window ledges for more dimension. The back of the window and door were left slightly hollow so they could be filled and glued on later with the Peltai Premium. Time to strengthen and cure for a few days. When your fingernail can no longer etch the surface, carefully remove the Peltai Premium frames from the soft clay. Clean up any edges. These delicate features add a certain sweetness to the design. In a well ventilated area, burn off any unwanted fibres with a chef's torch. Now they can be set aside, ready for the time they need to be added to your Parisian bottle dome birdhouse. Now it's time to mix up another bigger batch of Peltai Premium. Time to cover the cardboard and foil cores with Peltai Premium starting with the bottom. Apply it a 
quarter of an inch thick. Push a bit of the Peltai Premium down onto the house area, just in case the house is done in another session. This overlap will help join them together. Using a trowel and square, smooth and fill in the basic shapes. Keep the edges crisp. For more interesting texture, use a burlap piece and press your tool through the weave. The open weave makes achieving smooth shapes easier. The presence of fabric removes the drag on the actual surface, allowing the tool to slide and push the full volume of Peltai Premium. You'll be surprised how fast this works. Add a scratch coat with your fork onto the edges in case you need to come back and add your other detail later. For fancy details, draw on some guidelines. Add a tiny pinch of Peltai Premium and stick it down all the way around. Using a popsicle stick will keep your edges from getting smooshed. Fill in any areas that you might like to at this time. We're doing what we call here stitching. Anytime you add a part of Paltai Premium to another part, be sure to stitch it all the way down to survive freeze thaw. Using a spoon can quickly give nice scooped shapes. And now it's time to burn off any unwanted fibres from your sculpture in a well-ventilated area. We went in with our smaller tool just to create crisper edges on those additional details.
You may need at this point to mix up some more Peltire Premium, for example if you're coming back on another day to finish the house core. You can do it all at the same time or you can wait months between doing each step. But here we're coating the house core with another batch of Peltire Premium. We're applying it quarter of an inch thick on all four sides, then flattening with a trowel. To make the surface more level, cover with a towel and use a rolling pin. As before, it's easier to get a smooth surface if you do this through an open weave fabric. It will also impart a lovely pattern texture to your surface. The value of this sort of texture is it allows an imperfect surface to look cleaner. Tiny lumps and bumps become unimportant as they blend into the background texture. Using your original paper pattern, determine where the doorway will sit. You'll carefully cut this hole with your tool. By now the house has stiffened considerably, it is possible to add more fancy details with a small fresh batch of Paltai Premium. The side facing the table is stable enough to support the additional sculpting without warping. As the material stiffens, keep working the details for sharpness. Give it a once over before we cure this piece. Drill in two sets of drain holes in the bottom and the wire support holes on the side. The wire support holes should sit in the centre of the right and left sides at least three quarters of an inch from the top edge. Wrap in plastic for strengthening and curing. Keep wrapped overnight and the next day add wet towels and then rewrap in plastic for a minimum of five days. In part two, we'll finish the house core, the roof and complete the birdhouse. We look forward to seeing you then. Become a Peltai Insider to get extra content. Thanks for watching.